how do you stay involved? How do you stay connected? Uh, it's a, I think that, that question is so vital today. All the activities that are around uh, their lives, the responsibilities, the difficult economic situations people are going through, and then trying to say, where does church fit in? It's not that I don't go or don't choose to go. It's just a lot of time it's time and stuff like that on Sundays. And my family, I mean, we're, it's, it's like we believe in stuff for Christians. It's just a lot of times we end up not going. I work during the week. I play, in, I play music at night, and it's hard for me to drive myself out of bed. I know that's an awful excuse. I want to go find a new one. It's just I don't know how to go about doing that, you know. Sometimes it's just like taking that first step is kind of hard. It, it needs to be reinforced for me, every, like every week. The intimacy of being in church for a few minutes and, and talking to God, I think I, I miss that. When I make myself presentable, that's what I plan on doing is going back to church to bring back God into my life because dealing with the world day after day without any association with God can be kind of insane. I spent my whole life here, and there have been times due to school sports that I haven't been able to come back to Mass on a regular basis, and I just felt an emptiness. And you come back, it, everything just feels great, like life's back to normal, you know, you're, you're recharged. If I compare my parish now to 40 years ago, uh, the parishes are much more vibrant and active in, in a diverse array of things than they were. And I think that puts a tremendous burden on our priests. In all the parishes, there's like one priest, and he's, he's there to minister to four or five hundred families. I feel overwhelmed sometimes because there's just not enough time. It would be great if we had more priests down here. Today, I mean, so much has changed. Uh, that whole infrastructure of Catholic education has largely, you know, fallen by the way. So these are the challenges that we're facing today, to, to build our priesthood, to, to make our schools more effective in touching the community, and to make our parishes sensitive to the needs of the people around them who really need the help of the church in making it. One of the most important things that Southeast Michigan needs is hope. Our communities, our parishes can be witnesses to hope that God is here, that times are tough, but God stands with us and we can find solutions and to have courage and to move forward with a confidence that the future can be better than the past. To me, changing lives together starts with the fact that the church works together with Christ and that the whole Christian community is cooperating with him to help his work be done. We are his hands, uh, we're his instruments to accomplish his mission in the world. As we begin the campaign, which is about sowing, and we sow on the basis of what we've inherited, uh, and we are confident we're going to reap uh, benefits. Lives will be changed. We're called to do things and share our time and talent. Even though we don't realize our potential, there's so much more that we can give. I know some parishioners, they've been out of job for almost two years. And sometimes they even come to the office and say, you know, since I cannot give money, every week, can I do something instead, like, you know, to clean the church, or there is something that I can do? When we start struggling economically and so forth, then there's a tendency to become uh, isolated and insulated. And something like this can help us to, to broaden our perspective, to realize that we're not isolated. We're all connected. It, we're the only group that crosses every civic and administrative and racial and economic barrier is the church. So who is going to be a voice for unity in Metro Detroit and Southeastern Michigan better than the Catholic Church?
We want to be the light that shines. We want to be the hand that helps. We want to be the power that heals in this community. We want to make a difference. When people finally take ownership of their own parish, it becomes real and they become involved. Uh, it's just like with our own family. You know, it's our family. We're involved, good or bad, and we stick it out. And if we can help strengthen families, our parishes will get stronger and our diocese will get stronger. One of the important things that comes from this initiative is to show our neighbors that by working together, we can accomplish great things. God doesn't abandon us, so he knows what we do. If we do something to help others, he will help us. Catholic upbringing uh, at school was setting the foundation for, I think, a lot of the, my future and what, what I've been you know, become as a, as a person. Many are called, but few are chosen. Our numbers may not be vast. Our dollars may not be vast but the faith is here. It's not all about us. You know, it's about Jesus Christ and the people that we serve. God is so powerful and so awesome, and he wants us to be a part of his plan in, in sharing his wonderful graces with others. I like very much a quote that was attributed to uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. He said, the role of the church in a community is to be like the thermostat, not the thermometer. So we don't just measure the temperature, we change the temperature to make a difference where it's really needed. When we talk about the Changing Lives Together initiative being sowing, reaping, rejoicing, we're really talking about taking what we've inherited, uh, sowing it for the sake of a new future uh, with results that uh, they will reap. And we all can rejoice because we are sure that when we do Christ's work, we will bear a great harvest, and that will be a great cause for rejoicing for all of us. When the Archbishop was here for our revival, which was open to the public, and the people came, and he gave his message to us, and he said that our area, our church, was an oasis in the desert, because you can look around and see the what what once was in certain areas here is no longer there, but yet it can be rebuilt. But he said we were an oasis in the desert, like giving water to those that needed a new life to be saved. Please join with me in sowing, reaping, and rejoicing. Join me in changing lives together.